what we are seeing, and you may have seen this in our earnings announcement last week, that booking pace was up 60% year on year. To give some context to that, Q4 was up 104% year on year. Here in Asia Pacific, it's up 86%. So pent up travel demand and particularly leisure demand is a real thing. And as VTL lanes open and as border restrictions get lifted, we are seeing that return to travel. The Maldives, which has been open throughout the pandemic, has been a fantastic inbound destination for Russia, as has leisure. And that demand continues to be strong today. So I do think that the pent up demand will see us through, but obviously some concerns closer to home as it relates to our European business and domestic travel within Russia itself. And Alan, just can you give us a sense then of uh, given the reopenings uh, globally and in our region and the vaccinated travel lanes, quarantine free travel, give us a sense of the pent up uh, demand then that uh, you expect on the horizon at, at Hilton? Well, I think it's a, a story of, of two different things. One has been the expansion. I mean, one in every four hotels in, in Asia Pacific carries a Hilton flag. We opened 100 hotels last year to give it a sense of, of scale. You talked about the Conrad um, in Shanghai, which is 725 bedrooms, 1,000 bedrooms here in, in Singapore opening later this week. There's another... There was another 100 hotels that opened. We've got a new Hilton coming in the Maldives. We have a new Alexar, which is a luxury collection brand, coming in Bali. So we have a product opening in all markets to cater for that demand. As I mentioned, everywhere it's open, we're seeing pent-up leisure demand. We expect that to be complemented by business demand later in the year and a full-budgeted business demand as we get into 2023. And then ultimately long haul group demand and those big meeting and events that sort of put the cherry on top. So although it's still some time away, leisure first, then business, then group sees us back to what was an all time high in 2019 at some stage in the next 18 months. But investors, developers and building is certainly well ahead of the curve of what we had hoped and is now the reality of pent up travel demand.